Thank you, Mrs. Jean Lambert. Okay, thank you, President. And I want to say that, first of all, to um, Cecilia Wickstrom, she absolutely has our group's support in what she's been saying on unaccompanied minors. And I think we would also agree with a number of the other criticisms that have been made. I've worked on every Dublin regulation that's been brought before this House. Most of them have moved forward. I don't think this one is going to, and I have to say I will try and keep my language parliamentary, but it's going to be a real struggle. I understand that many NGOs and experts have been in discussions with the Commission and have basically been told that they need to get real, that they need to understand what's happening on the ground. These people do, and I think we have a duty to listen to them. UNHCR, Charter of Fundamental Rights, Jesuit Refugee Service, numerous others. We should be listening to these people. I would agree with what we've been told. Dublin doesn't work. We never thought it did. We would agree that it puts a huge responsibility on countries because of their geographical situation. That was always obvious, wasn't it? And we also know that member states need to show solidarity. We heard this from Malta many years ago. We are still waiting for it. But Dublin's only going to have a chance of working if we also take into account asylum seekers themselves. Because if you're looking at secondary movement, you need to think, why do people move? Dublin fixes you. It gives you one chance. And if that's going to be in a country where you think your claim will not be properly examined, where you will not be able to make the contacts with your community, use the language that you have to integrate as you, we want you to, wouldn't you move? It's your one chance to actually develop your life in any sort of way. A key point that we made in the last Dublin revision was that the thorough examination of your case was also a foundation of Dublin. And yet when I look at some of the proposals here for people who dare to cross a border, that is now being thrown out of the window and the court cases that decided that go along with it. I think there are some really big amendments that need to be made to this proposal. Thank you.